And you are on. Guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Woohoo. Hopefully everyone had yesterday off. That would be exciting if so. <laughs> well, our guys didn't have yesterday off. I know. Off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> our Cheers guy, to you guys. Our for... shop guys did, but uh, our sales guys worked, you know. Yeah. It's one of the weird things about being in sales that uh, everybody always forgets about is you most holidays work. are sale days. Yeah. So, mm. uh, shout out to those guys. We appreciate you. I believe they sold five cars yesterday. Five cars. Gave so, out some gas cards. Yeah. So if you uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, we are doing a little bit of promotion. Yeah, we are. Yeah. A little That's bit of something exciting. extra. So that promotion is actually kind of a fun idea. It started off talking about wanting to celebrate America's birthday all month long. All month. I pushed for cake every day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we settled guy on. Is killing me. We settled on gas cards. Gas cards. So uh, that's probably a little better for the customers. I don't know. But, yeah, free gas can't go wrong. Yeah, no. So not in this time of life. Gas is everything yeah. right now. <laughs> you know, the one thing I always want to tell people: they're like, I'm not buying a car. Gas is expensive. I'm always like, What do you drive now? <laughs> like, are you riding a mule? Like, what? Are you on a bike? <laughs> yeah, like it's kind of hot you outside for, gas for a anyway? bike. Like, <laughs> You know, that's, that's the wrong argument you're trying to tell me wrong about argument. your car. But I was trying oh. to find our live so I could share it, and uh, I don't see it. That's uh, up on our page. You gotta just yeah, refresh. Uh, you gotta refresh it. Usually, you get a notification. I got all Lots kinds of notifications of amazing. about. You know like what? It, it did lag a little bit. Yeah. Lots of amazing. Let's talk about lagging internet. I ordered those fights this weekend. Oh, I saw, and, and it uh, stopped. Never got it. What? I'm so. That's like eighty dollars. It was a hundred percent. It was a hundred percent eight dollars. And then when it freezes, you literally want to throw something at and the TV. And then, like, man, do I? So I was on the phone with Frontier for like thirty minutes. An hour, huh? Barely. I don't think I ever did get to a person. Uh, <laughs> so ESPN Plus is all just like an app and everything else. Like, yeah. I don't even know how Who do you even you talk, talk to, to anyone anymore. It's the most frustrating thing, let's be honest oh with you. You have to keep pushing numbers. Yeah. Press one to talk or to. Or then you get to someone and they're like, oh, sorry, wrong department. Yeah. <laughs> and then it hangs up Here's on another you. hour that you get like, to wait. Here's the prompt. It'd be like, oh, do you want one? I was like, I want help. You know, so. <laughs> I want my $80 back before I freak yeah, out. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, other than that, 4th of July was beautiful. I saw uh, man, everybody out enjoying. It's always fun to see. I... Uh, Tip my hat to all of you brave souls who went out on the water. <laughs> man, oh, man. It was pretty windy all weekend, too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Didn't seem to affect the fireworks, though. No. The AVs were cool. Hey, the I watched them cool. from my couch on Jeff's uh, Jeff's live. So Good job, Jeff. Got to see Let's him. Let's see. Can you show us, Jeff? Sure. We can show him. How all about right. it? Uh, we'll, we'll show the last part of it. Anyway, this was the that? best view of fireworks I got all weekend was this. Yeah, look at that. That's not too bad of a view. That's not a bad view, Jeff. You've you got done nice, lucked out on your house. You got a nice backdrop there. You know, you can see all the casinos. You can see the river and the fires that were started that happen every year. <laughs> Dang, it's wild. Was it all huh? the brush along the river again? Yeah, it, yeah. it, it happens every year. We, yeah, it's yeah just, that's great. It's just going to happen. Is this the first time that they've done fireworks? No. Or did they do them last year also? They definitely didn't do them the last couple of years. Last they year they did them do them. They, did. But they weren't as good. Um, because uh, of course the pandemic was the year before that. They probably didn't get a lot of money in the bucket. Yeah. And, for sure. uh, but this year was yeah. really good. It was a good Beautiful. one. So obviously that's Laughlin. They, uh, you know, that used to be the show. And then obviously yeah. over the years, the Avi got in, did their own thing. And, uh, our good friend Destry. <gasps> yeah, uh, he did. Some posted a really neat it. video. So, uh, shout out to Day our boy Destry. Media. Um, Let's take a peek at this. I, I actually think he got a deal or is, is working with the Avi because he did some really cool promo work for him also. Oh, gosh. Uh, I had that up and I lost it. That's all right. We'll find it. We'll find I do it. have it, though. We'll get yeah. back to, right back to that. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's always cool to see. And, uh, you know, I forget. I guess I'm an old man. You know, I've seen fireworks for <laughs> a couple of years. And, they uh, seem boring I'm to you. over it. You know, my God, I don't want to deal with it. Oh, uh, I think there's something about going down there and watching them. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I, I found the video. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Destry had a rave at the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, all right. That's for Jeez, sure. Jeez, Destry. What the heck? Hang on this just a second. Don't I still mess around with his music. Um, I think there's something, you know, pretty... Uh, iconic about sitting there underneath the fireworks and watching them there is just not for me not for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i just like pizza and in my home and i watch them on social i mean nowadays nope. you can just watch them on I social i would have gladly spent the weekend on the river just didn't want to do it with all the other oh. people <laughs> yeah 
Kesa Han Laughlin. Yeah. It was brutal. Gear. So jeez I mean, Louise. Yeah, I heard that story and then Jeff showed us some video and was like, That is unfortunately exactly what I expected. <laughs> I'm know? not surprised. That's yeah, we exactly had what I expected. Unfortunate accident it happens. Nobody likes that. Mm-mm. Kind of ruined your weekend. Anyways, here's the clip, guys. Let me get it up for you. Since we've talked about it, let's get it up there. Here we go. So that was from the RV and a drone shot. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty wild. Yeah. Especially because you see them leaving the ground, you know? Yeah. Kind of gives you a different view. Get the reflection on the river. Beautiful. Look at Destry. That kid coming in hot. Oh. Yeah, he's good at what he does. The kid's uh, growing up. The kid's growing up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you think we were part of that? No. Oh. oh dang it. Oh, dang. You're right. It's probably I, school, I, I would tell, assume. So I tell people <laughs> that, uh, you know, I mentored Melody and Destry so well that they just went out in the world They're doing their own blossomed. businesses. <laughs> so, hey, well, it's true. Yeah. This is true. That's this my theory. True. That's what I tell people. I'm That's like, fair. Yeah, it's all. It's all right here. It's all from my it influence. Started here. Yes, for sure. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, now, Destry, super talented kid, very ambitious. So uh, that was going to happen with or without me. True that. So now yeah. I'm trying to talk him into coming up, going to lunch, and uh, let me pick his brain. I know. How about a little? How about a quick shot of him us. Like when he worked for us? Huh? Oh, oh, there he is. You guys miss him. Yeah. Yeah, there the he kid. is. The kid. We keep hiring all these kids, and they get old, and then, and then I still us? call them the kid. <laughs> then they're gone. <laughs> they're grown men. I call them the kid. The kid. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh, we did a really cool Veterans Memorial Community Spotlight. I don't know if you guys had gotten so to see that. we have tried for this month to do everything very uh, patriotic-themed. Uh, you know, we have a month for everything nowadays, and then, like, America gets a day. I know. You know? I, like, we and have to really – it's a whole month of celebration for yeah, us. Yeah, it really should be. If every middle-aged lady gets a month for a birthday, why, uh, Listen, why doesn't America get a month? I'm all about the month. And my birthday is at the end – it's the 30th, <laughs> December 30th, so I literally – So you get hosed all on the, uh, month, yeah. you get hosed on the yeah, Christmas, no Christmas birthday Christmas. thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's, like, combined. Yeah, You're that's like, the worst. Don't even give me one, then. Yeah. What's the point in that? I get hosed on the being an old man, so no one well, cares. Well, we do know birthday. you're hitting the <laughs> You do. <laughs> yeah, it's I bet I get common. something this year. I'm going through all yeah. this. Uh, this is like go big or uh, go you're home be 40. year. Like, yeah, I'm going to be 40. Do something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anybody? Give me some cake. I'll know, take cake and pizza. I, I love know. it. But chocolate on chocolate, no pressure. No pressure. So, but, but we did go and visit those me- memorial sites in Bullhead. It is super, super cool. I yeah. mean, I don't even know. Really I'm still cool. Speechless. Um, and uh, you know, Dave was a great steward and took us out, showed us yeah. around. And uh, Dave's like half of who Dave used to be, apparently. Yeah. He lost like a hundred pounds or something. Yeah. yeah and he's so. gonna be on the show on the twenty first. Yeah. That's exciting. Very, he's back to the skinny Dave skinny I met Dave. twenty years ago. I know, man. <laughs> So, this guy. yeah, it's very cool. If we got a quick check it out, um, we posted it yesterday. Uh, go find it, see the whole thing. Um, we have some really cool memorials in town. And, uh, yeah. I, you know, to be perfectly honest, we kind of forget about them too. So, wow, it's even more beautiful as we sit. Oh, sorry. I was setting it up for the. I thought you were doing I know. I, I'm going to show up, but I, I had to set it up again because we had a glitch over here. I thought you were being a ventriloquist today. Hey. I'm telling you, it never goes as planned. It's really cool. What Jeff's going to show you is us sitting um, by this wall that has all the names of people in town. Yeah, it's just a short clip that we want to show you guys. Mm. So you that way you'll go over and see the whole video. How's that? Let's show it. Here we go. And we'll put the Breath volume taking, on. You kind of feel the moment. I mean, you get to see and visualize each name, which is just... I don't, I'm kind of at a loss for words, Dave. Well, and, and that's kind of the feeling I think it gives everybody. You go all the way back to World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and you've got, it's, I mean, if you know that you have a relative that served in, in one of these conflicts, it's easy to find them because they have it either listed by the whole state, if it's just a few, or like for World War II in Vietnam, it's by the county that they were from in Arizona. So you can, you can find your loved ones and, and uh, come here and shed a tear of pride with them. So that was Shed pretty cool. of pride. I know. Like, to end it right there is really yeah. cool. You know, we um, we live in an extremely uniquely spoiled time in, in history. And yeah. it's so easy to sit back and nitpick and pick out the things that are wrong now. But um, we have a pretty good world we live in here yeah. in America. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you can't take it for granted. You know, those were real things less than a lifetime ago. The, you know. We're talking less than 100 years ago. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, so many people just don't appreciate it. And when you go down there, it gets real. You it know, gets you real. can watch movies, you can hear stories. Look, goosebumps right now. Yep. Mm. I think that it's a great place to share with your kids too, because you know, um, they're, they're more about history lessons and history books of where they kind of come across the world would have one and two, but that takes you and actually yeah. gives you a visual of names from our town. Um, yeah, it's definitely you something know, that everyone son, should share. Uh, not, this would have been, I believe he was still at Malk middle school. So they go for things pretty fast, yeah. you know, and he came in and said, Oh, did you know this? And I said, yeah, did you know? And you know, they gloss over things so quickly. And you really, I understand they don't have time to teach everything all the time. Right. But, you know, we sat and talked and, you know, World War II is what most movies revolve yeah. around. Yeah. You know, like it's, it was that crazy a thing that it's still capturing our mind today. Yeah. And, you know, like it's really hard to appreciate the gravity of it all. And like I said, going down and seeing stuff like that. Um, and then to realize where we are now, where... You know, we're <laughs> making up issues half the time. I know, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> it is know. easy right now with gas prices so high to get a little heavy about, you know, looking at the brighter side. I, I feel like life in general is just kind of like that right now. Yeah. We need to do better, America. Yeah. Yes. Listen to Christy. Yeah. Everyone listen to Christy and Christy solve the world's problems. <laughs> yes. What Christy for president. What is it, Jackie Moon? <laughs> everybody love everybody. <laughs> Yeah. If you take a breather right now, everybody right. love everybody. <laughs> so. Man, I'm constantly talking to myself about changing my mindset. You know, it's mm. easy to look at the cup half full or empty. I mean, you no, know, I think that's where a lot of those, you know, where people have a um, a philosophy, and you know, when the individual takes responsibility, it takes the responsibility out of things you can't control. Yeah. And so, like you said, you take it upon yourself to change things. It doesn't mean things are different in the world, but no. how you react to them, how you accept them or, or overcome them is really the more important thing. So. Yeah. So, Shane, you wanted to know about the water level. We have a person in chat named Sam Goodwin that says there is no water right now in the river that, down to three units right now. Oh, Ooh. that's lovely. So it's going to be today. So they're doing one of those, uh, what, the caddis fly thing or yeah, whatever? Yeah, the caddis fly are really important, they and that means that the like water is dribble. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So... When are they doing that? I thought it was save the water or something. They're very high in protein, too. <laughs> Look, they need to save the water. Yeah, save our water. <laughs> yeah. I learned that of from Jackie. Of all the things we're the not Laughlin freaking Chamber. out about is uh, why are we not saving water? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, I'd take the caddis fly over the gnat any day. I don't know. I feel like they're both equally Are the mosquitoes? Miserable. They're both annoying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could eat them. They're high in protein. Just, Wait, what? Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never heard that, but I'm going to go with that. They might this. be high in protein, but they're like less than a piece of paper. Like, so you, what, are you going to eat 10,000 caddis flies here? Uh, yeah. That's gross. It's very possible. <laughs> Well, I'm we, worried we about what we truly they, eat them when we're out there. Let's just be honest. You're like talking like. and they're up in your eyeball and in yeah. your nose. and Very gross. Very gross. <laughs> I'm hungry it was pretty too. low. <laughs> The water breakfast. was pretty low. You want this some week. flies? <laughs> <laughs> Can't eat now. Listen, I've done my job. You're yeah, welcome. <laughs> it's the first effective weight loss you've ever oh, given. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Too much. All these years, you finally got me to stop got you. eating. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. <Yeah. laughs> oh, shoot. Um, we have a couple things coming up. Um, one of the things that uh, kind of got glossed over because of the timing of it all, um, I don't know if Jeff can go back to this, but. Uh, we actually hosted a little football camp uh, the other day. Yeah, so, it was fun. Thank you for inviting if you, Jeff and I. If you don't I. know, um, I coach a little bit of football, and uh, we had our first free youth camp uh, for Mojave High School. Uh, we invited a bunch of kids from the Boys and Girls Club. Oh, they were excited. They were yeah. pumped. We ended up having probably 60, 70 kids. So a lot. And, um, you know, we had six, seven stations. They were full all day. It was uh, cool that, like Coach hey, said. look at that. There's Coach O. Coach O, my favorite guy. <laughs> Yep. Um, like he said, it was cool to get to watch the kids coach these young kids. Yeah, so that was the whole point of what we did uh, is that we didn't want to run the camp. We wanted the boys to run the camp, and um, so they did. We set it up and kind of stood off and oversaw, but they taught them the drills. They ran the stations, um, and I think it's really important that those kids do give back. Is that my baby boy? It was. It is. Yeah. <laughs> My little guy. If you My want to call him baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, we think it's really important to give back, and we really hope that a lot of those kids come out. Um, we actually had 
enough positive response. I think we're trying to squeeze in another, another one for the one. season. So it's good. Um, Anytime you, know, you can get kids out on different fields, you know, maybe it's something they don't always do, and you get them to look and see differently about. So you know, I'm partial. You know, my baby girl has a little special spot in my heart, right? Yes, yes. And uh, the little girls who got super into it, you know, they're racing the like, boys. Yay. I don't know if you guys know uh, John Williams. <laughs> uh, John is a, a elite athlete, really, really nice kid. And he's letting these little kids win these races and this and that. And these little girls were so <laughs> like, into yes! it. It was so That's funny. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So, Winner. Very cool. Uh, and, you know, it kind of in the theme of giving back and kids getting back to school. Uh, we got backpack buddies coming up. We do. Let's not forget that it was Nick Smith's birthday, too. Looks like he Is went it? on an adventure. I yeah. can't keep track. I know. He went somewhere in the mountains. Uh, Nick is in Wyoming, I Wyoming. think. Wyoming. Yeah. It looked amazing mm, wherever he is. Yeah, it looked cool. Like, not awesome, but like cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so. There was no hot, no 100 degree weather where yeah. he is. No, definitely not. It looked beautiful. Green, mountains. Yeah. I'm jealous. I Probably love it. a water shortage. I don't want to be there in the snow, <laughs> but I want to be there now when it's cold. Yeah, yeah no. backpack buddies, it'll be cool. Um, it's not this week. It's following week. So we'll all be crazy busy so with that. So I know we had them on talk about backpack buddies. Are they pretty much said? I mean, do they have any need, anything need out there, or are they? Uh... I assume by this time they are good. The jacket one is always one I know that they're in need of. Um, so if you just you know get on Legacy Foundation, I know that that's a big part of the program that I'm sure will be coming up as we get into the colder weather. That they give everyone a jacket. And yes, we do get colder weather. So. We do. I mean, it's not till like October. You know, so when I was a kid in Pennsylvania, for me. there would occasionally be snow on the ground. By Halloween? For Halloween. Oh, yeah. And so you'd like get your costume, and then you had to put your winter jacket on over it. <laughs> then you had your so snow your whole, boots on. You're like, I'm a werewolf I'm in a winter jacket. I'm defeating this you know? purpose. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah your mom's Halloween. like, don't leave without that. Yep, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty silly. So mm -hmm. um, we got a guest coming up this week. Yes, we'll have Jose Hernandez from Grace um, Fusion. It's all the... Um, what's it called? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> what is it called? Why can I think? Apparently, we're gonna fight. all the things that go on the roofs. The solar solar oh, panels. Okay, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Holy moly! It I, seems like there's a lot of solar out there. I'm real curious. Uh, are you talking to uh, this guy or am I? Well, should you we know, flip a coin? Who interviews him? Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we should. It could be me. Or we could you. do it live. You have a coin. I don't uh, have a coin. I don't have a coin either. Dang it. Nobody's cool, so grew up here. Um, he's a veteran, and he's come in and opened this business, and it seems to be you know, pretty productive and super excited to see what he has to say. I'm super curious about solar, so if you want, I might ask him you, a lot of really you. dumb questions. Then it's you. <laughs> Because I don't really have gonna a be lot like, of questions about he's gonna want, this. He's going to want to talk about like selling solar and be like, so where like, do these panels do? go when you're done with them? <laughs> <laughs> how much does it, how come the government. You're won't, actually curious about them? Yeah, I'm like, how come the government won't get more. Uh, I know. I really have thought about doing solar panels. I mean, it seems like everybody's doing it. So, yeah, I mean, can you know, we get a Finley discount money. on solar panels? Can That's, we? Uh, That's a no good pressure. question. This is a That's good, a good question. question. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess we'll find out. Yeah. No pressure, but uh, be no prepared. Pressure. I'm going to ask you live on air. So <laughs> He'll be ready now. Be ready. Yeah, you've been warned. I uh, got some pictures to send you. He's super nice. Cool. Super nice. We have a July promotion going on. I don't know if you guys have seen that. So every car that is sold in the month of July will get a $100 gas card. As Do you have our social earlier. media up, Jeff? Can you uh, show? I like the uh, <laughs> I like the Christy part of that video. <laughs> Yeah, Listen, hold on, guys. Me, so me, if you buy a car, you get a hundred dollar. Uh, I believe it's actually a gift certificate to Maverick. You can use on fuel, sodas, whatever else you feel like spending. Whatever. I mean, we know a hundred dollars does not go far these I, days. No, it doesn't go as far <laughs> as it once did. Uh, but you're getting a free hundred dollars from us. Uh, but if you go to service, you actually get to play for a Play prize. Board. So we're setting it up and getting it going. And it was kind of funny. We had people going, what the hell are these people doing? And what are uh, they doing? it was pretty fun. So if you have, if you can find that, Jeff, that's um, uh, I'm looking for it. <clears throat> it is on our Facebook. And yeah, I know you made the video and you posted <clears throat> it. So it's definitely out there. So Jeff does good at the videos. We put him under a lot of pressure this week. We're like, we need the promotion video. We need the 4th of July. It was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we pulled it off, though. Jeff always yeah. does. He finds no. a way. Jeff is engrossed in this world. Had to sure. work. Had to work yes. over the weekend, but so, it was okay. So if you go into the service department, you'll get a chance to play the Plinko board. 
Um, and that, you know, the highest winner is a $100 gift certificate towards cell service or parts. Um, but that's pretty exciting. But the Plinko board's really fun. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is you can't miss the Plinko board. It's literally mm -hmm. seven feet or eight feet tall yeah. or something. And I feel bad because occasionally <laughs> the one lady's in there. I know you can't reach. Short you can't people, reach up to no. the thing. And I felt so bad. I was like, no, you got to get it. And she's like, I can't reach. <laughs> You're fine. It's all fine. Yeah. There's some fun stuff like sunglasses and little fans and, you know, yeah. And honestly, bags. guys, we know uh, it's not necessarily we think you're going to drive up to win a pair of googly glasses right. or whatever. But, <laughs> you know, we want to tell you thank you, have fun, give you a chance to win a little prize. And, um, you know, you, you need your car serviced anyway, and uh, we would like to take care of you on it. And like yeah. I said, have have a little fun. Show you we appreciate you. And enjoy and celebrating America's month-long birthday. Month-long birthday. Here it is. I got it. All right. Yeah, this guy nailed it. I almost thought he was going to hit the gold. Big money, big money, big money. You want to see <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> you know? It's yeah, exciting. She was poor lady. Oh, yeah. Can't reach it. She got it out there. I promise you she's seen The Price is Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, she was excited. It was exciting. Yeah. Oh, this lady, she did great, too. You know, the main thing is that they're having fun. That's Listen, true. Yeah, in all reality, we know it is not a ton of fun to go get your car serviced or maintenance but we uh hopefully we do. this gives you a little laughter yeah. time huh? we made it fun for them yeah you have a little bit more fun than you would have and uh, honestly it's a lot of fun for us we love interacting with people and you know we so often only see people as customers uh it's nice to chit chat and laugh and have a good time with them so. yeah i agree if you don't know me i love to talk and you know have a good time yeah you watch there's gonna be more people hovering around that plinko board and service than there have yeah. been in service all year long it's mm. fun yeah so so come and see us so guys we got a lot going on mm -hmm. um don't be shy come see us follow us on social media comment in here if you see anything you like uh if you think christy should interview people instead of me let us know <laughs> i'll get uh I'll i think get it's a good it. 50 50 you know yeah so anyway have a great week guys um Stay cool out there. Maybe we go out with a – do we have our Kona video? We had Kona up again the other day. It is hot. It's Take hot. care of your people, man. Um, we are very lucky. We work in a air-conditioned room. We do. I will complain from walking all the way to the parking lot. It's very far. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, – but, uh, Again, we just got to change our mindset. We're losing yeah. our pizza fat when we walk. That, Thank you, Finley. <laughs> not at the rate I'm eating it. So. <laughs> have a good day. We'll see you on Thursday at 1030 with Jose from Grace Fusion. Have a wonder.